what's up fellas, your boy Al, I'm back again, it's been like a week since I posted a video. I was expecting to get my new laptop yesterday, but it didn't come, so unfortunately I had to try to edit this video on my own laptop, which is going to be a pain in the butt. I was hoping that today was going to be a brand new day to make videos with the new laptop and stuff. Now I have to wait until Monday. There was adverse conditions for UPS, so now I have to wait until Monday. But anyway. I wanted to do a quick video, you know, I figured I wanted to do something, so I wanted to make a video. I just got an email today from somebody, asked me about airbrushes. Today I had a message from some guy who asked me how to clean an airbrush. And I thought, wow, that does make kind of sense because certain paints cause certain problems. For example, as you guys know, when it comes to me, I use mainly almost all the time these acrylic paints, which if you use these, cleaning them is so, so easy. And before I started using those, I used to use one of, the non, one, no, one of them is called Polyscale. So Polyscale is another one. So for example, I'll tell you about this. When I would paint a locomotive, I use these, of course. These dry up significantly faster and um, leaves a gunk around the airbrush. So to use this all the time and every day and use it for all that type of stuff, I understand that cleaning it is like a bitch and it's in the butt. So, I particularly don't use this as much and that's basically what threw me off from weathering and doing airbrushing in general. When I first started a couple years ago, I did it with the, that type of paint. I custom painted a uh, Union Pacific engine and it just would not, it took so much to clean one of these I felt at the time. So I was like, eh, I don't want to do that anymore. Now I've been using the acrylic paints. It works out really easy. Um, I've had this sitting here for three days since I've done anything, as you know. So, you know, taking it apart is really simple. And then you add this unit. I'm gonna show you how to clean this unit. This is pretty simple and easy, even if um, it's been sitting for a while and some of it dried up on the tip. It's pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to the kitchen and show you how this is done. Before I go there, I'll just talk a little bit about what's going on with other things. Um, I have a whole bunch of projects behind me, as you can see. Ready to be weathered up. I finished a few projects. I'm having an eBay issue, as you know. Uh, my account was on hold for like two weeks, I think it is. So I need to use somebody else's account. And I needed somebody who was selling ready account. You know what I'm saying? And I was going to take care of all the fees and all that stuff. And I was going to weather an item up, send it to the person every week until I resolve this, and then that, if that resolved longer than a month, 100 bucks a month, which I think is damn good. But, that's just that. So, I haven't um, been listening anything up over the last day or two. I'll get to that hopefully a little bit later today. Um, what else? I bought some new markers, I think they might be cool. This is what I've done recently, the Sharpie markers, and they're different colors, and they're really, really fine ones. I think I'd give them a try for doing graffiti. Worth a try, you know? A lot of people have been asking me about the bulging thing. I tell everyone all the time, if you're gonna bulge out the sides of your gondola, you need a certain lighter. Not just any lighter, you need these lighters. See that light, see that flame? See that? It has to be the torch flame. You cannot just use a regular lighter flame, it will cause, your, cause the sides of the gondola to burn and melt and really do real bad things. This, you hold it there for a few seconds, Get that flame, and you're ready to push out the sides. Don't use regular lighters. Bottom line. And uh, what else? I think that's it. So now we're gonna go ahead into the kitchen, and I'll show you how quick it is, quick and easy it is to clean this, all right? So we're here now, and what I have is the airbrush, and this is just a toothbrush. It's an old toothbrush, which I use to clean the airbrush, which is pretty simple. I don't even have to take all this apart, really. But I'm gonna take it apart so I can show you, okay? I use, um cleaner or a dishwasher here already and I just clean just clean this like this then I take the end tip right here off so that's exposed for this end piece Another 
thing I do is I fill this thing up right here. Fill this up right here, and then I blow it out. Cleans up the inside. There you go. That's how easy it is to clean this thing off when using acrylic paint. Now, if you wasn't using acrylic paint and you're using the paint that I just talked about, the flow quill ones, you take off the whole tip because it, expose, it exposes this whole sharp thing. And right on top of this, it's usually covered by light up paint. So I have to you know, do, like, do like this to get it off. Resolve. That's simple. So once you get back, you just hook up this, and your airbrush is ready for next use. It's simple as a five-minute clean when you use your coat paint. I do it all the time, and uh, then you clean off your little uh, cup here if you want to. I leave them out, just how yeah. I do. It's a quick minute, a quick fast clean, and I just showed it to you. So, hope this makes it a little bit easier for people who use the airbrush and are a little intimidated by it because I used to be there myself. So I understand. This is a quick how-to. Just wanted to just show it off right quick. I'm about to be, I'm about to be out so I can uh, do some more weather and work for my ne for my next projects, my next videos, and then post some stuff on eBay when I get another account brought up to me where I can do some listing on eBay. Who's gonna hook a brother up? <laughs> Hopefully, it's all done by now. All right. I'll check you guys. I'll check you guys out a little bit later. See you later. Peace out.